here with Roz Kind, and we're here at actually my alma mater, Brooklyn College, and she did a magnificent performance tonight, which was also a benefit. Yes, benefit for raising for the uh, funds for the Department of Arts here at the college. You know, for music and dance and acting and uh, artwork, which is in dire need of funding because the government has cut back on education in so many areas, and that's a definite creative avenue that kids need to develop. And you're back in the old neighborhood. I'm back in my old neighborhood, which I do not recognize <laughs> at all. A lot of changes. Oh my God. Everything, so all the stuff I remember is missing. And I'm going to be doing a tour of, you know, to go look at where my old building was and everything. Is it still standing? I'm going to find out. <laughs> I, thi I think it is, but it's even PS89, which is right there, is no longer PS89. I don't know what Take it is. So the building is still there, but they don't know why it, it's not PS89. No, they've closed a lot, but they've also, it's now, we were discussing, it's now called Kensington. PS89? Oh, it's Kensington instead of Flatbush. Yeah, no, you're kidding. Is that it? I believe I believe that's what we were talking about. That it's that it's. I mean, the whole avenue is now Ken or the that area. Whole, that whole area. It's called Kensington. That whole area. Is there a is reason? Fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy. Is a guy named Kensington that bought it? I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess. So where you you going? You you're doing a whole tour. Yeah, I do I do pieces of it. Um, in a couple of weeks, I'll be at um, Ramapo College in um, Mawa. 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 New Jersey, and then I go home for a week, and then I'll be back in Woonsocket, Rhode Island, and then I'll be later back at uh, Delaware, and some other, you know, so I do them, you know, I don't always do them in a row, but if they're in the same vicinity, I like to do them in a row. You coming into New York City at all? I will be coming into New York City, I'll tell you why. I was invited to the 100th anniversary of the Helen Hayes Theater, which they're celebrating uh, May 24th, and I'll be in Rhode Island May 23rd, so I'm going to car in just for that event and then fly home that night. Because that was? That was my first Broadway show, which was Three from Brooklyn at the Helen Hayes Theater. With Sal Richards and, and Aldo and Mantilla. And Adrian Tulsh. Yep. And yeah. It was an interesting. And Mickey Freeman, the and late Mickey, Mickey Freeman. Wow. Well, amazing. I know, um, that, well, that's where we met yeah. when we were doing yeah. Three from Brooklyn, that's right. which was so long ago, and I don't understand because we're both 35, so that's how could right. that be? I, I don't have, know. I Time have no just, idea. I have no idea. It's not rushing away. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> but you were great tonight. This is fun. Thank you. This yeah. is really fun. I had a lot of fun. I really did. Great audiences. I know. You know? I know, and they were all sitting back there going, oh, is she wonderful? Hey, they're wonderful. Hey, they's me. They're wonderful. With that talent like that, I'll walk again. And, <laughs> and your biggest somebody out, somebody out there said, came over and actually said to me, an older gentleman saying, that I don't need a doctor. All I need is you. Nobody needs a doctor. You're like the heel. It's like, I'll have mine, my mother. <laughs> She's what about your fan in the front row? My fa Oh, yeah, Robin from Florida. She flies to most every concert. Every concert. And she, she makes t-shirts, and she shows up, and she's on Facebook, and she celebrates my birthday with her students and everything. That's Do you find thing. this a bit unusual? It is, but when it comes to me or my sister, she's, you know, she's there. I, she first discovered me in Florida when I was on touring in Florida, and she used to come to the gigs there. I was like, who is this person? <laughs> but she's really a sweetheart, and she's a great fan. So talk CDs? Huh? CDs? Talk about them? We got a new one? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for material. I want to go back in the studio. I haven't gone back in because I haven't found things that I'm convinced I want to do. Who was the songwriter? Gloria, Gloria Sklerov. That's who was the one around the corner from you? Yeah. The one who's in Los Angeles, and I recorded some of her songs, and that's the one on my website, which is uh, What Love Has Done. Right, because you didn't mention her name. I forgot. Oh, isn't that terrible? And I was wondering, because I, cause I know yeah. that name, and it was either that oh, or Marsha Malamud. I wasn't Marcia, sure Marsha, I know, too. Marsha Ma Ma Marsha's out in L.A. I know. I just saw her yeah. in, in January. Yeah. But I was wondering who the songwriter was. Oh, I see. You see, you go all around, around the world, and you find somebody around I'm the corner. You, there were people. There was actually another guy that was a, a member of my temple who went to Yeshiva Rambam. I went to Yeshiva Rambam. You went to Rambam? Yeah, on King's Highway. That was oh my, my first school, for, for kindergarten and first grade. Wait, I started at King's Highway and, and Dickie's 26th. <laughs> that wasn't far. No. I was King's Highway and he's 26th and Rambam was right there, wasn't it? Wasn't I, you know what? Joe the driver used to pick us up at oh Vanderveer. So <laughs> it's like I don't remember. I just knew we were on King's Highway. Sorry, we're just a couple of old <laughs> Jewish broads sitting around talking. <laughs> That's what it's like. Old? 
<laughs> isn't 35 isn't boy? 35 old <laughs> i thought 35 was old oh no <laughs> No, as long as, uh, what's her name, is going on at 90, yeah. Betty White? Yeah. Well, you know what it is? This is a business where you don't retire. You just drop well, dead all, one day and, and it's I done. And I think people are younger in spirit than oh. they used to be. Remember when mothers used to be at 35 and those house dresses, used to be the vision you would get, they would in the house because she's cooking. It's a very different world. That's they're active, they're out there, they're doing. Well, somebody said 50 is the new 30, and I say 60 is the new black. So, <laughs> there, we, so there we are. But it's been great. It was great seeing you. Thank great you. talking to you. And I loved, I assume either before or after this interview, you'll see your interview with Luigi, which was wonderful. Isn't he fabulous? Uh, he's phenomenal. I, never, I swear to God, I used to go to high school. I couldn't wait for my bell to ring. At 2 o'clock, I got dismissed. And I would run home, put on my leotards. And I took three classes. My mother would turn the lights out on me when I finally came home to do homework. But Luigi is his an institution, yeah. and he's still, Definitely. I mean, he's amazing. Yeah. I was listening to the interview, and that was just phenomenal. That was so yeah. cool. And Much you know, better than I could have done. You know how he became a dancer. He was in a car accident, and half his body was paralyzed. And these exercises that he eventually taught in his classes were what brought him back to life. Yeah, that I didn't know. That I didn't know. I yeah. met him 30 years ago with Barbara Luna. Yeah. That's how I met Luigi. But yeah. that interview he did was just... And I could see his whole face lit up when you were talking to him, and that was wonderful. He's a sweetheart. He always said he always wanted me to be a dancer. And you're a singer. I'm a singer, but who dances? I know. That's why I said <laughs> long, bef long before there was Bob Fosse, there was Luigi. Oh, his technique, everybody knows Luigi say. And they do, they fly in from all over the oh, world. Oh, I know. Everybody I to know. To take from him. You know, I, I work with Karen Lynn Gorney, and I'd say, well, every time Saturday Night Fever is on, yeah. you get a big check. She said, I get enough for a class at Luigi. Luigi's, oh. those, were, those were her exact words. I get enough for a class at, at Luigi. Luigi. And, and the greatest people used to come here. I mean, when I was 14, I lied about my age. I, I swear, all the dancers from Hullabaloo, the television show, God. and Shindig, and all the gypsies from Broadway shows. In my class. Still, to this day, they're all there. I mean, yep. It's just um, phenomenal. It was great. Really great. It was so nice that he came. Yes. It was just lovely that he came tonight. I thought that yeah. was. He's going to come to Ramapo, too. That's, he, that so. shows a lot that he found that yeah. he, it's not just your fan from Florida, yeah. it's someone like Luigi, and that's a great uh, testament to you as a performer. Mm -hmm. That's and it. as a dancer, and as a, and as a student. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. This My pleasure. Great. This Thank has been you. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. <laughs>